Um, I had filmed my morning skincare routine like two weeks ago, I think, and I realized I never did my nighttime. So here we go. Um, I start off with my cleansing balm. I love this stuff. It was half off like two weeks ago, so I got a backup because it's that good. Um, just like that much. And I start off by getting off my eye makeup. I realize I don't have the best lighting in my bathroom, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. And this literally just breaks up all that makeup and mascara. And just kind of rub it in there. And then I take the rest and I rub it on my face. I do a double cleanse and this stuff is my favorite. I've tried quite a few cleansing balms and believe me, I would prefer one that was a little bit cheaper, but that's why I stock up when I see it on sale because nothing works better in my opinion. This stuff just gives me like a glow and it just gets everything off really well. All right, so. I, you can see, I got it, most of it off, and then I use hot water, as I do, and then I'll go like this, and you can see there's like this little white consistency to loosen it up. I have the hot water on, I don't know why it's not getting hot. But I take a washcloth and I will wipe away all of the product. And you can see it all comes off. And then I rinse and wipe, rinse and wipe, like so. Lovely, huh? And then I do my second wash, um, just to make sure I've gotten it all. And then my second wash is also, um, it's a salicylic acid cleaner, cleanser, because I am acne prone. So, take a little bit and do my second wash. not like crazy foamy, which is fine by me. And then I take my washcloth again. I rinse it out in between each time I wipe my face with it. Make sure I get all of that mascara, residue, why? One more for good measure. done. Pat my face dry. The real me. Um, and then I take my rose water spray on a cotton round. I do eight sprays because I'm OCD. It's the truth. You'd be surprised the little tiny bits of makeup that you'll still find on your face and that's why I do this. So, teeny tiny bit, but usually like a little extra mascara because I wear quite a few coats. Um, and then I've been using this. I really like it. Um, it's definitely helping evening my skin and giving me a glow do like two pumps of it and then I go I try to avoid my under eye area but I put it everywhere else I don't put it on my neck either um, my neck skin is really sensitive and it just doesn't take well 
to anything with an acid, unfortunately. So just rinsing that off my hands. go. Um, next, I do a hyaluronic acid. Um, it really helps with moisturizing. That's probably way too much, but I love this stuff. It just feels good on your skin. And I will put a little bit of that on my neck. And then I let this dry a little. And then I use the Elemis Overnight Matrix, but I'm almost out. And this stuff's expensive. I had gotten this, their Marine Cream, and the Cleansing Balm on QVC. They had a deal. Um, so I need another deal to come because I can't just buy that stuff on its own. It's crazy. But the Marine Cream, since I'm low on the Overnight Matrix, I'll take a little bit of the Marine Cream and start on my neck and eyes to give it like that protective layer because before I put my final like night cream on sometimes the um, the acid will get in there if that makes any sense so I like to pre moisturize that before I do my final moisturizer on my whole face I love this stuff it feels so good such a nice cream and then I'll do a little massage nothing crazy ta-da then I'll pop my contacts out put on my glasses and fall asleep on the couch